Hello friends, Mike Bowalda here from Money for Ministry. I want to just lead off with a quick word of congratulations to Trina Castlebury and our good friends over at City Rescue Mission in Oklahoma City. They just got word of a million dollar estate gift. And Trina shot our team a note saying, we are dancing in the hallways. Well, Trina, we're praising God with you for this really good news. And let me just share a word of encouragement to you and how their story, I think, can impact the growth of your legacy gift program. One of the things that we've noticed about City Rescue Mission is that they are really good at focusing donor attention on a clear and compelling ministry impact. They don't just talk about uh, how we're serving the homeless. They talk about how we're ending homelessness. And in fact, they have a lot of wonderful stories and stats about how they're ending homelessness. And donors love it. Well, how does that translate into your legacy gift communications? It means you want to present legacy giving in the context of clear and compelling ministry impact. Too often we see uh, legacy giving communicated in uh, what can they do for you. Well, to paraphrase JFK, ask not what your donors can do for you, <laughs> but what you can do for your donors. And what your donors want is to be inspired, uh, inspired by real, clear, and compelling ministry impact. We often say you want to lead with inspiration, then follow with the information of legacy giving. You know, the Bible talks about uh, seek first the kingdom and all these things will be added unto you. That is so true in legacy giving as well, that when we seek the kingdom and seek real clear and compelling ministry impact and communicate legacy giving in that way, it makes all the difference for you, for your donors, and for the cause of Christ. I hope that's encouraging to you. Until next time, may God bless you.